an animation with lip sync. Let's just quickly record something with a free program called Audacity. Why, hello there! <laughs> so, there we have our audio. Usually what I'll do after I record something is I'll select a bit of silence, which is actually not silent. You can hear a bit of noise there. So I'll go under Effect, Noise Reduction, Get Noise Profile, which is why I selected a little bit. Then I'll press Control A to select all of my audio. Go to Noise Reduction again, and press OK. And that'll get rid of all that noise that we had earlier. Let's export this audio as a WAV file. I'll save it here. So now we have our audio. Let's import it by going up to File, Import Sound. And you can also import images with File Import. So let's import our sound, press open, and we now have our audio. So these two buttons are what enable sound. This first one just enables sound to be played. The second one with the S stands for scrubbing. So that's really useful for lip syncing. So let's play our audio. Why, hello there. <laughs> so we have our sound. So let's create a new layer. We'll call it mount and we'll start off with just a neutral face and we'll extend the exposure so it lasts the whole scene. So scrubbing allows you to scrub individual sounds so you can more easily see what sounds are being made. So he does sort of a ooh, sort of an ooh shape, and an ah. And I'm just going to do this really quickly. It's going to be a super rough example just to give you an idea. Then he does sort of an E shape. And he's got his tongue up here for hello. And then we want to reuse that O shape, right? So the way we do that is with our library window. So here you can see all of your drawings. So this is super useful for doing lip sync. So I can actually go through and look at all my different mouth shapes. And when I stop on the one that I want, it'll set it at that frame. So we have our O shape. Then we'll end on his neutral mouth. So we get some really crude lip sync. Why, hello there. And usually once I'm done with my lip sync, a really good um, practice to do is to just select all of your lip sync and move it back two frames. So because light travels faster than sound, you should see something before you actually hear it. So that's why a lot of animators will actually move their lip sync two frames behind. Why, hello there. And it just reads a bit better. It looks a bit nicer. Why, hello there. So that's how you do lip sync. So that should be enough to get you started with uh, your first animation. I'm going to continue with a more advanced animation using Storyboard Pro and chronicle my process as I go through it. Best of luck to you, and I hope you have fun.